coming to a city near you. May is gone wild. I'm going to show you a quick video clip. Then I'm going to explain who it is and what it's about. And quite frankly, I'm appalled by it. Especially by the things that this guy has said regarding behavior like that. Hang on. the mayor of the city of Providence in Rhode Island, Jorge Alaza. The man with the white hair who he was pointing his finger at is Dan McKee. He's the governor of the state of Rhode Island. Apparently Alaza is unhappy with something to do with a teacher's contract because the state oversees the Providence School Department, something that Alaza asked the state to do a few years back, but I don't know much about that. But anyways, you, Galoza can be seen pointing his figure, finger. You can't hear what he's saying, obviously. There's no audio on that. And then a member of the governor's state police detail, the man with the suit with the red tie, I believe, steps in and gets Galoza to calm down. And then he comes in, he shakes that other dude's hand, whatever. <clears throat> Point of this is this mayor suspends police officers like he's at the store buying apples okay there were some incidents in providence some offices did things that they didn't like the commissioner and the mayor they suspended them i talked about this on another video one of the offices was suspended without pay for saying the words who wants more or who wants some more was suspended now this is the mayor of the city okay acting like a child at a public gathering. We have a thing in Rhode Island called water fire. They like these, there's a big basin things they fill with wood, they light them in the river, it's nice. But anyways, it was the inaugural, um, the, light, the first light of the season or whatever. And Alaza saw McKee and he's been out of shape about some teacher negotiations and a teacher contract that the state was going to approve for the Providence teachers. And Alaza didn't like it. So he decided, with all the cameras rolling, to act a fool, point his finger at the governor, and say whatever it is he said. Now, the Providence Police Union has since come forward with a statement stating basically that his behavior is appalling like he called the behavior of the officers involved in certain situations the situations involving the police were violent situations high stress split second decisions need to be made and things happen there's no police brutality there's nothing it was, whatever was done was done to control a large crowd a large disturbance officers were suspended this guy the mayor, who suspended these cops, decides he's going to act like a child and he's going to lash out at the governor at this public gathering and nothing's going to happen to him. He hasn't apologized to the governor for his behavior yet, nor has he said anything other than all I said to him was the, nego the, the contract negotiations need to be put out in the open or blah, 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 blah. That's neither here nor there. The point of this quick video is this guy disgraced himself, the city he leads, and every resident in it by acting that way in front of, I don't know how many people were there, but cameras rolling. It's a public event. It's a happy event. And this guy's all butthurt, so he decides to act like a fool. He should be suspended by somebody. But if he's the leader, I don't know if that's possible. The way he suspends cops for doing certain things and then he turns around and does the same thing is disgusting. 
is disgraceful. And quite frankly, if the city council has any power, they should remove him from office or do something to make him understand that what he did is on the same level as what the police did, but the police were involved in stressful, dangerous situations. This was a happy time to light some fires, and this guy decided to have a hissy fit and do that, and nothing's going to happen. The police also have to attend mandatory de-escalation training. <clears throat> I believe it's every year. So I think this guy needs to go sit in on one of those trainings and realize what he did was wrong, it was childish, and it's unbecoming of a public official to act that way anytime, okay, anytime, but especially when you're at an event like that with there's news cameras everywhere, there's people all over the place, and this guy decides to throw a fit. And that's it. I mean, it, it's unbelievable that this happens today. But these are the people who we don't like the police. And quite frankly, in my opinion, and you know, I always say this, it's my opinion. He could give two shits about public safety. All he's worried about is getting votes because we all know he's going to run for governor. And he doesn't give a shit about anything but himself and getting votes to become governor. He treats the police officers like they're second-class citizens. He does not let them do their job the way they're trained to do. And if they do do their job the way they're trained, he gets all pissed off and he starts suspending people because maybe some BLM comes out and starts crying because, right, God forbid, people are getting arrested because they're committing crimes. Oh, we can't have that. Let's have a fucking protest. It's bullshit. It's unbelievable. And I just wanted to come on here make a quick video about this because it goes with the last one about the two mayors in Philly and um, DC who want to defund the police, big proponents of it, and now they're begging for police. This is the same thing. Although they do have an academy in right now currently, he is hiring police, but he does not support the police. And you can see that by the actions he takes when things go wrong and he decides that he didn't like the way they were acting. Well, he's not out there doing the job. And quite frankly, I don't think he has the balls to go out there and do that job. So if he thinks it's that easy to de-escalate or do anything, he needs to strap on a gun, strap on a vest, go out on a cut cruiser, and fight some crime. And I guarantee you, he'll be running the other way with his fucking tail between his legs. Bottom line, my opinion, I'm entitled to it. And that's all I'm going to say today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this. This is episode number 41, a short No Limits podcast. I hope everyone's healthy and safe, and I'll be back soon with some more of my rants, buffoonery, nonsense. Good stuff, though. Have a great night.